Okay, we're gonna run back another round. Single defense. We should have more card draws now. We've been gradually unlocking things. We're feeling good. Rogue Tower has been... She's been a challenge for us. But a challenge is good. I don't want to just, like, beat things on the... Beat it! I don't want to beat things on the first try. Give me a right turn. Oh, you were teasing me. Give me... Honestly, you stay in progress as well. Do you... It's nice to see a tree. I'd love an early house as well. Oop. Okay. Damage to armor is good. Yeah, I think that's our best. This is also actually, I think, an early start on that. Give me a right turn. Aww. We're very zoomed in, so sorry. Stay on progress. Did you see me adjust my glasses? What a four eyes. Okay, like... Okay, I was gonna say, did you guys ever get bullied for your glasses? Look, I never did, because I was, like, a super adult. I was, like, 25. Oh my god, I can't believe this has happened. I was, like, 25 when I got glasses. But, it doesn't mean I wasn't bullied for other things, okay? 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 Why am I so zoomed in? Please. But, I feel like glasses are, like, one of the dumbest things to, like, bully somebody for. You're like, what, you can't see? Oof, sucks to be you. And I get that. It does kind of suck to be me. I can't see. You're not wrong. And I'm, like, at the point where I'm, like, I, like, I go into, like, the grocery store and I'm, like, we're just, like, really taking damage after damage here. Um, Enchanted Bolts early is actually really good, but I think this may be a good touch. What's going on with me? Most health. Progress. Most armor. Give me a least health. And then, can I put, like, a near-death somewhere else? We don't really have any other good spots to put them. But let me put you there, I guess. Give me a... Uh, and then a least health. A near-death, then least health. And I wouldn't mind having... Most health, progress. Give me a fastest. Not that we'll get to the point at which, like, the missiles are coming. But it will help us when the missiles are coming. Give me a left-hand turn, please. Thank you! Oh my gosh! Blessed run! Fastest progress. Give me a... Give me a... Give me a slowest. Try and break up who they're targeting a little bit more. Um, actually, even if you just give me a... Let's do that. Just so that, like, they're hitting different dudes instead of all of them shooting for the same dude and then half of them whiffing because the dude got yoded. He got to rest in peace. He passed away due to the first arrow. Um, I don't know why I had to describe that in, like, 14 different terms, but look, sometimes my brain goes on a tangent. I'm a little upset about this completely flat, also right-hand turn, um, tile, but sometimes my brain goes on a tangent that is just so completely irrelevant to literal existence that I just cannot control. We're doing the best we can. Okay, we're doing really good. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. This this is it. I don't even know what I want. Okay, that's fine. Another flat tile is less than ideal. I'm just gonna let them like hopefully shred away at them. I'm gonna put you on a most health as well. Because most health can take a few hits from dudes. Can you give me a left hand turn? Uh, you kinda did. most armor. Do, 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 do. I'm not loving the flat map, but I am loving a little bit of the cinnamon bun, crisscross, serpentine, switchback, however you want to call it energy.
where we're getting double use out of some of our ballistas because they happen to be in a location that can reach multiple different parts of the pack. Do you ever think that you talk like a psychopath? Now, hear me out on this. I know that was a very random comment, but I feel like because I was taught both in like my undergraduate and graduate school to not say um, eh, or make weird noises when you are thinking that you should just take a pause and it helps with presenting and your presenting skills, which is really funny because the way that I talk and the way that I present is not very professional. I say like as every third word that comes out of my mouth and I swear sometimes an ungodly amount. But sometimes because of the way that I talk and I have to like constantly tell my, look, I just said like, constantly tell myself to slow down because I talk very fast and I don't want to say um and I don't want to make these like gross noises coming, like these pausing noises that are going out of my mouth. I'm so sorry if that was like a little visceral. Also, speaking of visceral, I have a really gross anecdote. Hello, Todd, happy new year to you too. It's 2024, look, I'm so old now. Not actually, I feel old though. But, oh my God, the gross noises that like come out of my mouth sometimes, I'm like, I gotta like tell myself not to. Now, speaking of visceral reactions, I'm not, I really wanna preface this, cause I'm serious about this. I am not a picky eater. There are foods I don't like, but I'm not the type of person- Oh my gosh, thank you, thank you for the subscription. I didn't even notice. Fresh 18, I'm always gonna be fresh 18. Also, second anecdote that I can talk about with that one. But we went out for sushi and they had, um, taco, taco, no, yaki, yeah, taco yaki, whatever it is, it's like a fried octopus ball, like octopus mush in a fried dough ball. And my husband's like, oh, we should try it. It's only like five or six dollars, which is like a little scary, but it's only five or six dollars. It's fine. We can try it. It'll be good. And to preface that I'm not a picky eater, I was like, sure, I'll try one. I, even if I don't dislike food, it is what it is. You just like suffer through it and then drink some water and say, okay, that wasn't ideal. Moving on, you know? But... I put this huge ball of takoyaki, hey Mel, or Polar, oh my god, I read my own name and I was like, hello, hey Polar. I put this big ball, ball of takoyaki in my mouth and something just went wrong. Something went wrong, I don't know if it was the texture, I don't know if it was the flavor, and I like fish, I like octopus, I like fish, that's why I wasn't afraid to put this whole fish ball in my mouth. I started like gagging, I was sitting there and I was like, Something's like, I'm gonna vomit. I was like, if this doesn't get out of my mouth right now, I'm gonna vomit. And I had to like awkwardly spit it out into my napkin. And my husband was like, are you like, okay? And I was like gagging. Like I was already out of my mouth and I drank some water and I was like, just continuously gagging. Like what is going on? And somebody's like, oh, was it like food poison? No, my husband ate like the entire rest of it. And it was totally fine. Like there was nothing wrong with the dish. I don't want people to think there was something wrong with the dish. It totally wasn't. Uh, for whatever reason, it could not, it wasn't even my tummy. It did not sit well with my entire being. And my body said, get this out of me. Put that thing back where it came from, so help me. Um, my body became Mike Wazowski and was screaming at me to get this out of me. Which I was like, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. If this happened, like what if this happened on a first date where you don't know the person and now they're just sitting there thinking, oh my God, this white, fish is like totally food averse does this stuff all the time it's so embarrassing how could people even want to be around them when in reality like that's the first time something like that's ever happened to me and also again was very embarrassing <laughs> or second horrible thing what if it happened and you're in like a small restaurant right where like give me uh, another most armor where like the staff see you do that and are like oh my god you really hate the food that much that you have to spit it out look i almost died i don't know how but somehow i truly almost died i don't know what happened but it's fine 
but yeah, that happened to me for the first time ever. I had a poor food experience and almost vomited on the table at this beautiful sushi restaurant. It was awful, embarrassing myself. Uh, number two, don't you love, if you've worked in the service industry, when people hit on you a little too much? Now, I know you're probably like, oh, it feels nice to get hit on, and it does, by certain demographics, but when you work in the service industry, especially when you're quite young, sometimes you just get hit on by people. And my friend was in the bar, he was sitting, like, adjacent to where I was standing, and the guy to my left was this, like, 20 or 30 years older than me, dude. Probably 20 years older. Belligerently drunk. And was saying, like, some crude things to hit on, like, poor 18-year-old me. And this guy, at one point, was like, Oh, you're so hot that, like, if... Um... If I didn't have a girlfriend, I'd date you. Which I was like... 18-year-old me is like, Ha ha ha, I'm so uncomfortable, please help me! Um... And the whole time, my lovely friend was just sitting there basking in my um, my discomfort of the situation. Being like, oh my gosh, this is so funny. And I was like, I was standing there being like, please help me, please help me. And like, I wasn't in a situation that was dangerous. Like, not at all. This guy wasn't gonna do something or hurt me. But it was just uncomfortable and I'm quite shy. And then at the very end, my friend finally made it known that he had been hearing. He wasn't just like, not hearing what was going on. He had been hearing it and was like, Oh, fresh 18. You smell like birthday cake. And that's been a running joke for now, like, actually like 10 years. Truly 10 years. Oh my god. Almost. Yep. I'm old. Help. Oh, not actually. Also, like, when people are like, I'm gonna have a midlife crisis at like 30 because I plan to die at like 60. I'm like, I get that. But also, you've only been an adult for 12 years. You've only had 12 years of an adult life. So, like, that's not your midlife crisis, IMO. Your midlife crisis should happen... Oh, burn damage. Should happen halfway through your adult life. Which is, like, for me, would be, like... I don't know, 50? I hope to make it to, like, 80. So 50 would be 30 years after I've been an adult. Come on. Like, that gives you lots of time. You get lots of time of being an adult. We are on 14. My longest path, I think, is technically this one. I don't have good Oogie set up, so I'm gonna take a brief moment. I'm gonna choppy. Ooh, actually, I wish I hadn't choppied because that was not very good. I am gonna put a shields guy here. But I'm not gonna do anything with it. And then... Technically longest path. I do need a most health. So I think the best course of action is to do this, and then put a... What's that? Oh, you're going the wrong way. Well, you can stay there. That's truly not ideal, but... Okay, well, I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. Oh, I put Saitama on by accident when I was, like, talking about okay. Um, I kept saying okay. Welcome to my meme. Also, thank you. I love Saitama. Um, my memes today. Casual, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, oh man, I'm just like, thank you. Thank you for like pointing it out and I'm like lying, but it's fine. Glad I didn't die. It does sound like a horrible friend. It's fine. It's fine. My life is fine at this point. I'm so mind flooded that, like, I don't know. I can't keep track of, like, anything. I feel like I've, like, suffered, like, a concussion and never recovered. But I think it's just, like, my life. Maybe I just had, like, a major aneurysm. Well, major, you'd be dead. Minor aneurysm, and I'm just vibing at this point. Okay. We actually made it to Ugi and slayed Ugi really well this time. Okay, um, increase poison. We don't have poison, but I would like to get poison. But I do think money is really good. And with that, I think doing that is a benefit. This is also a benefit. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. Are we good? Are we good? I think we're good. Okay. Which way do I want Ugi to come from? I'm really unhappy with the way that this forked. With that, I would like to put... 
a shield boy here. My earliest fork is actually quite far down. It's here. So I'm going to put a shield boy here. Should have put it here because this is going to target both sides. That's fine. We can expand here. In fact, I might this time and put another shield here and then that can hit both sides. And then hopefully we can stagger this one to be a little bit longer. Thank you. I was like, the only way this could go awry was if Oh, there are a lot of shield boys coming from this room. Give me that. Give me shield. No shield. Okay, we're good. What is my biggest issue right now? What is my biggest issue? Shield, clearly. I think we're okay. I don't think we're okay, actually. I rescind that statement. Give me that. Give me a shield up here. I don't know if we'll make it through this round. This is gonna be spicy. Okay, maybe. Maybe. We're not gonna die. We will not be laid to rest this round. Which is all you can ask for, I guess, at this point. I think both of these guys will get shredded as well. I would really like to make it to level 26, if possible. I feel like it's been a hot minute since we've made it that far. Maybe I'm asking too much. Burn damage is nice. Armor is nice, but burn will do armor damage. This is also nice, but I kind of want to just be increasing that. Now, I'm not happy with this fork. Your shield. I'd like to put something here, but we don't have the money. So... Easy way to get money. I only have one gravestone, so this isn't ideal. Oh, I have two. I'll put you there. Um, actually, can I demolish you? No, it's fine. Let's put you there for now. Okay. No ideal gravestone locations, but we roll with what we've got. What do I want to see? Greg. Oh, Greg's gonna ruin us. Why did Greg have to spawn from over there? Greg, you little freak. Greg, you absolute demon. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. We're living the best life. Greg, don't kill me. Okay. I think we're okay. Maybe. Okay, Greg got shredded. He didn't drop a treasure chest, which is a little disappointing, seeing as I was a little scared for my well-being due to him. But it's fine. It's fine. We're living a hunky-dory life. I'm actually feeling okay about this run. I think. This is a little concerning, but I'm okay. We're okay. I'm walking on sunshine. Ooh. I think shields will be our downfall. I think we really, really need a shield. Oh my god, my hair is stuck in my glasses. Ow. 
We really, really need a shield upgrade. Whether it be poison, ideally. Or... Sorry, I'm dying. Or um, just a straight shield upgrade. Now, we are struggling a lot with this path. So, I think... Doing more damage over heal. Heal. Here. And focusing our attention on these guys to obliterate them before they really get too far is kind of a really nice area to focus some attention. Um. I think the next step too, because I'm really seeing it here, is this is about the same length as this, which is about the same length as this. So we need to focus, I think the biggest step to help me get farther is to be focusing my attention on staggering this and this, so that the guys hit this and then these guys hit this. And then following that, staggering these two to be farther out so that they're not all just clumpy together. Because this looks like the beginning of our demise. And I'm not here for it. I mean, I am, because I'm physically sitting here for it, watching it happen. But... Shields. Shields are so hard for us. We're gonna take some damage for sure. But our boys did level up a little bit. Um, okay. This is good. Doubles our burn per second. So, step one. Step one is going to be staggering this because I want the next Oogie to come from over here. Step two will be staggering this. Step 1.5 will be putting stuff down here so that when these guys and these guys actually join together here, they're not all at full health. Yes, okay. We've got a plan. I do want to put another haunted house down. Um, focus our attention over here. Okay. This is not looking so good. Specifically with that high energy. Thank you. I'd rather go for fortification. The tree card drop thing, it's not, it's never worked out for me. I will cut down the trees regardless, but having good drops from it has never been something that has worked out. Most armor, most health, most shield, progress, most shield. Oh god. Okay. I oh got it preemptively and realized that we were actually totally fine. Give me a fastest over there. Actually, give me a loose health. Give me a near death. I think a 
if we haunted house it up? Well, we don't have any good haunted house locations. That's the, that's the kicker. That's where my issues come from. If we were getting like where I could have three gravestones around one slot, chef's kiss. I'm, I'm happy. We're going, we're good. Look at him go, unburdened. Unburdened by blood, yet you're bleeding. I don't know, I don't know how that works. Are any of you most help? You are, okay. These guys will do some damage though, if they make contact with the tower, and they heal, which I hate. Ballista range up would also be quite nice. Okay. What are you? Shield. I want you to be more armor. Armor's good. Tax rate's good. Shield's good. I think I want shield. I think at least one more over here. Oh, worst case scenario. Are you shield? Your armor. our demise, actually. Nobody's killing me and I'm unburdened by blood. We shall see. Okay, this guy's done. This guy might make it. This guy will probably make it through. Ooh, never mind. He took some hits. Ooh. Poison! Yas Queen! Exactly what the doctor ordered! Give me. Give me, give me, give me some poison at midnight. Won't somebody help me chase the demons away? We got it. Yes. I'm feeling good now. Okay. Because of this annoyance, I'm going to... Okay. That's good. I'm going to... You're only... No shield. Most health would also be nice up here. Ooh, I don't like that. Up here. Okay, Ballista's slow enemy for 5% of the damage they deal. Burning enemies take one extra damage is also really good. Increased bleed is also really good, and increased poison is also really good. I think this. I think slow is underrated. Now, I do see a concern. I have to expand this 
or sorry, I have to expand this before I can expand this. Because if this expands and it goes here, we're cutting off this. So this has to be expanded before this, which is brutal because I didn't want to expand this yet. I wanted to do this next. We're at 22. I think we just go for it. I think we do this one first. And if it ends up portaling, it ends up portaling. We just have to live with it. doing better about staggering, which is really nice. I do see what looks like a mini boss though. He is not, he is just large and semi in charge. He is kind of more of a mini manager than a mini boss. He's not fully in charge, but he does have some say. He's a little bit larger by relation to this little rattly boy. Are we doing gravestone front? Anywhere I could put a good gravestone. I think that's on level one, so that one, or level zero, but that's good. Gives a little bit more income, a little more passive income. Good, 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 good. There we go, we're good. still a huge issue for this one. So our next issue She was clearly armor. So an extended fire, more damage, fire per second, a um, direct all ballistics get more armor damage, that kind of thing would be really nice to see. We cannot stop the sands of time. Also unburdened by blood. Okay. I'm scared. I'm I'm terrified. Yeah. Oh, I was so close to level 26. I set an arbitrary goal. We were so close. I also, we only been doing Ballista only runs and I'm kind of content with it, but I was so close. Ah! Ah! It's fine, it's fine. Internally, I am, ah! It's fine, okay. We're just gonna run it back. It's fine, totally fine. Okay, deep breath. Deep breath. Deep breath. Whew. 